Hi, welcome to another math tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about quadratic equations and what they look like and what they represent. And uh, to do this tutorial, you should have a good idea of what linear equations are before you start this tutorial. Otherwise, you would be extremely confused as to what quadratic equations are. So what is a quadratic equation? Now, a quadratic equation is an equation where the highest power of x is 2. So let's have a look at some of these equations here. Now, in the first equation, the highest power of x is 1. As you can see here, we have x to the power of 1. So because the highest power of x is 1, this first equation is not a quadratic equation. Second equation, again, the power of x is 1, so it's not a quadratic. The third equation here, the highest power of x is 3. Now we want it so the highest power of x is 2. So again, that's not a quadratic. Now let's have a look at the last equation. Uh, all the powers of x, we got x to the power of 2, x to the power of 1. The highest power is 2, so yes, this is a quadratic equation. And now we're going to have a look at how to graph this kind of equation. So let's start off with the most simple quadratic equation, y equals x squared. Okay, now let's draw our table of values again. So we have x and y. Okay, let's make up some simple values for x. Let's start with negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, when x is equal to negative 2, y equals negative 2 squared. So that's negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. So we have y is 4. When x is negative 1, we have uh, negative 1 times negative 1, so the answer is 1. When x is 0, y is 0 times 0, which is 0. When x is 1, 1 times 1 is 1 again. When x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So let's plot these values onto our grid. Now when x is negative 2, y is 4. So let's draw a little circle representing that first point. When x is negative 1, y is 1. So when x is negative 1, y is 1. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 4. So we have our dots. Let's join them up with a straight line. And this is our graph. And we call this particular shape a parabola. Right, that is simply the shape of this line. So you have just drawn your first quadratic equation. Now try drawing a graph of y equals x squared plus 1 and come back when you're done. We start with a table of values for x and y. If x is 0, y is 0 squared plus 1, which is 1. When x is uh, negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2. When x is 2, so when x is negative 2, y equals negative 2 squared, which is 4, plus 1 is 5. And when x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 5. Okay, drawing that on our graph. When x is 0, y is 1. When x is negative 1, y is 2. When x is negative 2, y is 5. When x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 5. Joining the dots to form our parabola. 
So this is our uh, equation y equals x squared plus 1. Uh, what have we noticed the differences are between this graph and the graph we drew before? Well, to show you a comparison, I'm going to use Graphmatica. And on this grid, we're going to draw all the graphs at once. So y equals x to the power of 2. That's the graph we drew in the beginning. Now the second graph we drew is we simply added plus 1 at the end of the equation. And we came up with a second parabola. And you might have noticed that the difference between this parabola and the first one is we've shifted it, shifted it up by one unit. And if we do plus 2, we shift it up by two units from the beginning. So the number at the end is simply uh, the y-intercept <coughs> when our graph is at the origin or the vertical translation of the graph. So if we do plus 3 for example the graph has shifted up by three units. What if we do minus three? Minus one, it's gone down. Minus two, gone down by two units. Minus five, it's gone down by five units. So therefore, this number here, uh, the number after the Uh, x squared this is the vertical translation of our parabola okay so now we're going to look at the horizontal translation so now we're going to draw a graph of y equals x minus 1 squared x minus 1 squared okay so firstly let's draw the uh, grid so we have x and y values when x is 0 y is 0 minus 1 squared so that's negative 1 squared which is 1 Okay, when x is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so 0 squared is 0. When x is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1. When x is 3, uh, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4. When x is negative 1, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4. Okay, let's draw these values onto our grid. That is the equation of our parabola. You might have noticed what is the difference between this one and what we drew in the beginning. So using Graphmatica, I will show you. Okay, so the one we drew in the beginning is y equals x squared. Now, if we put in bracket x minus 1 and then square it, our graph is shifted to the right. Now, if we put in minus 2 squared, shift it to the right again by 2 units, and x minus 4 squared, shift it to the right by 4 units. Now let's try shifting it to the left by changing this minus sign to a plus. So if we have x plus 1 in brackets squared, we shifted it to the left. x plus 3 squared, shifted to the left by 3 units. So therefore, we can say that the number in the bracket after x 
this number here is the horizontal translation and uh, all you have to remember is when it's a negative translation we shift it to the right when it's a positive we shift it to the left okay now let's do a uh, example where we change the slope of the uh, slope of the parabola <coughs> so we should graph y equals uh, 0 0.2 x squared that should make it a bit more obvious so let's draw our table of values so when x is 0, y is 0 when x is 1, 1 squared is 1 1 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.2 when x is negative 1, y is 0 0.2 when x is 2 Oops, let me use my pen. And when x is uh, negative 2, y would be 0 0.8 as well. Okay, so let's draw that onto our graph. Actually, I'm just going to draw it in Graphmatica. So we have y equals x squared. That's our main one let's clear the graphs y equals x squared that's our original graph now if I put in a 0 0.2 in front of it look what happened to the slope of our graph right, we have pretty much decreased the steepness of this graph so it's less steep now if we put in 0 0.1 the smaller the number at the front is the wider our parabola is going to be and uh, if we put in 0 0.01 that's going to make it really low All right so the steepness is very low now on the other hand if you make this number bigger let's say 2 look at our parabola it's become more steeper it's become steeper and then if we put in x equals sorry y equals 3x squared okay so it becomes steeper and steeper let's try 6x squared and if we do a really steep one let's try 100 so that is a very steep parabola and the last thing we want to learn is that if you put a negative sign in front of the number at the beginning the coefficient of x squared you flip the parabola upside down okay so you pretty much doing an upside down parabola okay so summarizing everything we've learnt let's do a uh, general formula for the this is called the turning point form turning point form of quadratic equations y equals a bracket x minus b squared plus c where a is called the dilation factor so that's making the graph steep or wide uh, depending on what it is uh, B is the horizontal translation and C is the vertical translation
of our parabolas. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial. See you next time.